Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Maxine Shramka, the Rheumatology Doctor. I am here to talk to you about rheumatology. What is it? This series is going to be all about rheumatology. I'm going to speak to you about different rheumatology questions, common questions that I get asked in my practice. I'm going to do my best to make it really simple so I can share my knowledge and my wisdom with you so that you can understand rheumatology like I do. So I'm going to start the series talking about rheumatology. What is it? I didn't know what it was before I did medical school. I have a lot of people come and see me and they ask me, well, what is rheumatology? What does a rheumatologist do? <laughs> Some people don't even know why they're being sent to see me. They don't know what a rheumatologist does. So, um, and I don't think I would have known what it was until I did physician training either because it's an unusual word and some people think that we should rename our specialty. But in the vast tradition of medicine, terms in medicine uh, originate from Greek and Latin. So the term rheumatology comes from two words. One word, rheuma, not gossip, but R-H-E-U-M-A. And the other word is ology. And ology in Greek means the study of. So if you put those two words together, it sounds like rheumatologists study the flowing of the rivers. But no, we don't. <laughs> we have nothing to do with geology, nothing to do with geography. We don't look at maps. We don't look at topography. We do with the human body. And it's interesting to consider that, well, what can flow in the body? Well, by the time people come and see us, probably not a lot, because let's face it, when you're in pain, when you have arthritis, when things aren't working, there's not so much a flow in the body. It tends to be quite stiff and limited in its range of movement. Um, so my understanding is that rheumatology is a study of conditions that affect the connective tissue in the body. And the connective tissue is the, um, the very, very amazing substance in the body that literally connects everything in the body together. And the body is the most extraordinary thing because there are so many different types of connective tissue, very, very specifically engineered to form very, very specific functions. So as rheumatologists, what we do, we um, assess causes of joint pains, causes of muscle pains, causes of pain in the whole body. We deal with the treatment of different types of arthritis, such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, gout, other forms of inflammatory arthritis, such as ankylosing spondylitis. We also deal with the treatment and the assessment of autoimmune connective tissue diseases. And these are diseases where the immune system turns on itself in the body and very, very specifically targets uh, different forms of connective tissue in the body. And depending on which part of connective tissue is affected in the body, that depends on what condition and what symptoms someone is going to get. So a lot of what we do is very diagnostic and it's incredibly diagnostic because a lot of the nature of what we deal with is actually quite complex and our mastery is in making the complex very, very simple. So when people come and see us, they may have varying types of symptoms. They may have rashes, joint pains, they may have breathing troubles, they may have hair loss, they may have circulatory troubles, they may just have exhaustion. And our job is to see what's going on with the nature of these symptoms could it be an autoimmune uh, connective tissue disease or is there something else that's going on there are many many different types of autoimmune connective tissue diseases and some of these i'll discuss in more detail in later um, episodes the other thing that we do is we evaluate causes of musculoskeletal pain so uh, not everyone who has pain is an athlete so not everyone with pain in the body or regional problems needs to see a sports physician. So we are masters of the musculoskeletal system. And what we do is we evaluate what's going on for a person in terms of their pain. Uh, we like to understand why it's happening, what the cause is, and therefore what we can actually do to treat it. And this is something that I particularly love in rheumatology, understanding why someone's getting pain why they might be re-injuring themselves and what might be able to done to diagnose it and then also to treat it. And there are many different things that can be done to treat things that are not just limited to us as physicians making prescriptions, but working with a multidisciplinary team to provide a multifactorial support for someone in the return and in the care of their health and well-being. So that's us as rheumatologists and that's what we're about. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. And I look forward to delivering more episodes and hopefully sharing with you everything that I know about rheumatology. Have an amazing day.